I don't really do drugs, okay? I smoke a little weed, but in the right circumstances, I love to be around people on drugs. Anything can happen when someone's on drugs. When I was 18, I played soccer for junior college, and a guy on the team said, hey, a friend of mine is having a house party tonight down in Fort McHenry. I get to the house, I knock on the door, and this big dude opens the door up. Now, when I say big, I, I don't want to be misleading. He wasn't like The Rock, but he was like sloth from Goonies. I'd say size of And he says, welcome to my party. My name is Sparks. And I said, well, thank you for having me, Sparks. I went in. I sit down with the guys on the team, we're smoking a little weed, we're drinking a little beer, and Sparks is hanging with us. And then he disappears down the stairs. I don't know what's going on down there. I can hear some voices. I can only assume that they're local neighborhood dudes. They're not hanging with us, we're not hanging with them. But Sparks is going back and forth. About the fourth time Sparks comes up the steps, he's got cocaine all over his face. He's in front of all of us in the living room and his eyes are so wide and he's got the biggest smile on his face. And he walks to the back corner and there's an aquarium there. And he rips this blanket off of this aquarium. Now from where I'm sitting, I can kind of see what's going on and I look and I'm like, God, that kind of looks like an alligator. But you know what it really was? A alligator. Without taking his eyes off of us, Sparks lays his arm in the aquarium and he's swaying it back and forth in the water, never taking his eyes off of us the whole time. I am just losing my mind. I'm like, oh my God, this guy's gonna lose his hand. So you could tell by the way he was doing this, it was definitely the first time he'd ever done this. Picks the alligator up. Now there's a dinosaur at the party. And the guy that's sitting next to me is like, hey, I think we should get the hell out of here. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like this party just livened up. So he's holding this alligator by the belly with the snout right at his face. He starts doing his best Axl Rose with this thing. I'm like, oh my God, what is he doing? And he kisses it on the mouth and I'm losing my Like I can't believe what's going on right now. And then he kisses it again. And I'm like, oh my God. And the truth is I don't want to see anyone get hurt but I definitely want to see this alligator bite Sparks in the face. He kisses it a third time and he looks off to the left. And you know that, that shady eye alligators have where they like look out at you? Like that alligator looked out at all of us like, is this my serious? And when Sparks looked back, that alligator kissed him back and said, snap, right on his face. And I was like, yes, yes, this is why I don't leave parties. This is why when people do drugs, I stay put. And finally, Sparks just rips it off of his face and he sets it back in this little aquarium and he takes his hand away and he holds it up like there's no blood on it. He's like, I'm not bleeding. And I'm, I'm looking at him and I'm like, yeah, you are now, dude. There's a ton of blood rushing from your face right now because you just got bit by an alligator in the face. And he said, well, I'm calling the cops. And I was like, for what, assault? Like, what are you calling the cops for? You have underage kids here drinking marijuana, alcohol, cocaine. Like, they're just gonna come over here, beat the shit out of you and arrest you. You wanna call 911. And he said, no, I'm calling the cops. And that was it for me. I wasn't getting arrested. Hit Sparks with a see you later alligator. Got the fuck out of Fort McKenna. 10 years later, I'm living in LA at the time. I go back to Baltimore to visit. I go to this one particular store to get, you know, some Orioles gear. And just a little ways at the register, I see this guy and I stop in my tracks and I'm like, oh my God, I think that's Sparks. And I walk up to the register and he's the manager. And I say to him, hey man, are you Sparks? And he says, yeah. And I can't control my excitement. I'm like, dude, I was at your house the night that you did crazy amounts of cocaine and got bit in the face by an alligator. And everyone in the store turns and looks at me like I'm the asshole. And Sparks is giving me the kill signs, you know? And I'm like, dude, w wait, you don't tell anyone about that? And he said, no. And I'm like, dude, I tell everyone about that. You're, you're house party legend. Like you and Francis Scott Key are Fort McHenry legends.